let me draw flange coupling in this video this is the picture of flange coupling it has a five parts one is uh, flange two numbers and second one is soft two numbers this one is soft with the keys uh, key slot third one is a chopper key this is the uh, dimensions of key fourth one is hexagonal bolt and fifth one is hexagonal nut these are the parts in flange coupling and there is a keyway in the flange let me go for the drawing for that open a new drawing it has a circular section uh, so uh, let me draw by using the circle and extrude commands for that we have to draw two circles the first circle and this one is the second circle the diameter of the circle is inner circle is 45 apply the value of 45 and the uh, outer diameter is 190 enter the value of 190 yeah that's all and apply it now we have drawn the circle and we have to make x to the thickness of 20 mm and make 20 and apply it yeah we have made the flange and we have to extend that uh, hub here for that this hub we have to extrude here choose the plane and go for sketch now draw the two circles inner diameter and outer diameter diameter is one is 45 just draw the circle for circle this one is second circle and this diameter is 45 and this diameter is 90 yeah then go for extrude and change the direction the length of extrude is 75 change the value 75 and apply it yeah we have made this then we have to chamber these ends so go for rounding go for round option make all the ends round and apply it the radius is i have taken here 3 this one is flange and uh, we have to make holes here for that choose the surface and go for sketch and take the circle and draw the circle here the picture diameter is 140 the center distance from the center is 70 mm this is 70 and this diameter is 12 oh it's not uh, finished so go edit and apply the diameter of 12 m12 and go for extrude change the direction and make a cut I have made the hole here. It should there should be a four holes. For that, go for patterns and change it to axis and choose the center axis. You have four holes and angle in between that 90 degree. Yeah. We have done the hole on this flange. remaining one we have to make the key way here for that choose this surface and go for shape blend and 
make a first rectangle here it should be the dimensions of key here the diameter is 45 and remaining height half the height upside and the half the height downside so make the calculation and put the value here this value 2.79 and length of the key is breadth of the key is 14 mm apply the value here yeah then draw the change the direction first you should be extended inside and the uh, length of the keyway is 75 mm put the value 75 here next go for placement and sketch and second sketch and now draw a, another rectangle of uh, another end of the key calculate the value and put this one is 14 and this one is bigger in and draw this and uh, apply it now zoom out and go for extrude cut yeah and apply it now we have done the keyway let's see here now you can see we, uh, in clearly keyway in flange that's all we have completed the flange and go for save and save the file this one is flange and update next go for new Now we have to make the shaft. This one is shaft, and there is a keyway and chamfering to cross 45 degree, and the uh, length of the keyway is 90 mm. Let me draw this and choose any one plane which one which one you like and make a circle the diameter of 45 because it should be engaged with the flange and then to be greater than this 75 because the there is no constraint for the length of the shaft So, I am going to make above 75. I am making this 100 mm. And zoom out this and chamfer the end and make the keyway. this end should be chamfered 2 cross 45 before that let me draw the keyway This is the distance of key from the base base of the shaft to and bottom of the key and calculate these dimensions.
total diameter is 45 and this height is 39.5 and 45 minus 39.5 5.5 depth in shaft so now take a rectangle and mark the dimensions height is 5.5 inside the shaft so 5.5 should be above the shaft and make the dimensions this value and this value now apply it and go for the extrude the length of the extrude is 90 mm and change the direction 90 mm and go for extrude cut and apply it yeah uh, round off this end zoom it and make it round off reduce the value I, I, I'm going to give one and chamfer this end I didn't chamfer before cutting the keyway because it will be little difficult to draw the rectangle here that's why I didn't do it earlier make it chamfer 2mm and apply it yeah we have completed the shaft save the file third one we have to draw the tapper key so open a new file and uh, draw the key further go for the blend and uh, draw the two shape of the key this one is one cross section bigger and cross section and smaller and cross section we have to draw that's all I have drawn the bigger end then we have to extrude this 80 mm and put the value 80 and go for sketching this one draw the second sketch make a rectangle and put the lower end value height and this one is breadth yeah and apply it yeah that's all keyword has been done and go for save save the file yeah next bolt and nuts let me draw the bolt first for drawing the bolt I am going to choose the templates here 
this one is the shape of the bolt choose any one plane and go for sketching in bottom you choose a template i'm going to choose hexagonal template because here is a hexagonal bolt or nut choose parity and uh, there is a number of shapes is there triangle square hexagonal pentagon choose a hexagon and just drag it and put it on the center place it will not coincide at center for that you choose zoom it and uh, place it in center place M12 bolt, the diameter is 12 mm. So, put the length of this side is 20. Also, it should be in same length. Put the value twelve. It depends upon different size of the bolt and nut. And thickness is thickness of the head is eight mm. Yeah. Then we have to sketch the stem. Further, choose the surface, and uh, this one is diameter is twelve. So take a circle and draw the circle at center place and oh diameter uh, edit this diameter is 12 and apply it then go for x2 the length is uh, 34 plus 18 so 48 52 Put the value that's all stem is done and we have to chamfer the head and the end before that let me draw the thread here first draw the line that is length of the thread eighteen mm place this line yeah then go for helical sweep and uh, go for sketching draw the shape of the thread here it may be a it may be V thread, square thread, whatever shape given, just draw that. The depth is 1 mm. I am choosing here M12 thread, M12 bolt, nut, and depth is 1 mm. Change the value and apply it, make it extrude cut and change the pitch value. That's all. I have made the cut in this bolt head. Just do it by yourself. Yeah, this one is bolt. Now wait, last one is nut. This is the shape of the nut M12.
draw, drawing this uh, and also I am choosing this palette and put the value 12 here and next to this that length is sorry height is 10 mm and yeah then make a hole choose the surface and go for sketching draw the circle and make a extra cut pull it back and apply it then we have to make the internal thread here for that go for sketching choose the center plane and draw a line first draw the axis then go for line and draw the line here this indicates the length length of thread and apply it then go for sweep helical sweep and choose a sketch and draw the shape of the thread yeah and change the value according to your requirement then I'm choosing here one mm depth. Apply it and uh, make it cut. Yeah, we did it. And we have to round off this end. For that, choose this plane. Go for sketch and take a line. And draw a inclined line and make it as a tri triangle and go for sweep. And make a cut. yeah this way i did uh, in bolt head also and change the i'm going to make a little depth here and change the dimension and apply it yeah it and go for save and save the file Yeah, we did save the file. Now going for assembly. Go assemble and assemble and first choose the key it will be easy to assemble and uh, yeah make it default the plane will be coincide and change the view you have to know where is the bigger and where is the small end so that change the plane and see here the this one is the bigger end in bigger end there is a axis and this one is a small end next uh, go for 
assemble insert and this one is a shaft we can rotate this shaft depends upon your requirement see this i am changing this orientation just pull, pull this directions of three arrows each arrow indicates one axis and make this plane and this plane coincide and uh, make this key center plane on top of this surface coincide because we have drawn the key way portion of uh, half of the portion above the diameter of the shaft half of the portion below the diameter of the shaft and choose this plane and this surface coincide then only it will be fully constrained else it will not be a fully constrained and apply it yeah we have assembled the shaft and the key here yeah we did it before that verify this whether it is a partially constrained or fully constrained they see this placement it is fully constrained now and go for insert and flange see here the key is one side and the keyhole is one side in flange so rotate this flange and zoom it and coincide for that move this one this plane and this plane make it coincide and uh, this center plane and this plane should be coincide it is not fully constrained make this surface and this surface coincide we did half of the portion of assembly the next stuff is very simple for uh, assembly let me see how i am doing this change the appearance here it will look like a uh, individual parts will be very visible to us The remaining portions we no need to insert and assemble. Just I'm going to mirroring the components here. First, choose the shaft and mirror the. And I'm going to edit this because the uh, both keys should not be in same line. So. We have to uh, make the angle of 90 degree or 180 degree. See, here is key, and key base here. So just rotate this, uh, or else let me make the planes coincide. For that, I'm choosing first. Uh, make the axis coincide. Then make these two planes coincide. So. 
first going to be by using the axis this axis and this axis coincide this plane should be coincide with this plane now it will rotate automatically because I have changed the plane here and this surface will be coincide edit this this surface should be coincide with end of this sub make it coincide and apply it yeah like this way key and flange we have to rotate and make it mirror and choose the plane choose this plane and apply it and edit this and move the key because then only will visible the plane just rotate the key move the key from place to place for AC locating to place the surface here for that edit this and this should be placed in this surface this surface should be coincide with this surface and make these surfaces coincide Make these two planes coincide, it will be very easy to you. The remaining one is flange. Just 
Das ist ein Platz. Choose the flange and mirror that you further enable the planes and choose this center plane. And apply it. Yeah, we have mirrored that, but we have to rotate it into 90 degree. Go for edit and rotate this. Oh, some distance. It will be easy to visible. Just make the planes or rotate yourself. Yeah, it rotated against the key so just rotate the flange the white indicates it is in lock position to move so erase the placements then rotate now make the plane coincide because which one is the nearest plane it will be coincide so we have to rotate this and and then we have to go for the coincide or uh, parallel or perpendicular which one you want you would like to do you can do this. these two planes will be coincide This plane should be coincide with this plane. Make it coincide. Already has coincide. This surface should be coincide with this surface. Yeah, remaining portions bolt and we have to make here yeah, further insert the bolt and nut for easy assembly make the axis coincide edit this bolt and choose the axis coincide this axis and the uh, whole axis zoom it and choose the whole axis yeah it will coincide then choose the surface coincide here next choose this end of the bolt with this surface choose this surface and rotate this and choose this surface go inside that's all and change the appearance the appearance will be 
generally will change depends upon the material that we see how to change the material of the different individual components in next class next lesson and copy this both for that go for pattern and choose the axis pattern and uh, pattern the bolt and nut in four set go for pattern axis pattern and zoom it and choose the axis it may be a soft axis it may be a flange axis that doesn't matter four nut also we have to make it is also same as a bolt assembly choose the axis and surface choose this axis and uh, this surface also should be coincident choose this axis I mean, this axis should be coincide with this bolt axis yeah wait it now go for pattern and pattern the four pair four number of not for uh, four number of bolts Yeah. Change the appearance. And go for patent access patent. Choose the object and go for patent. Now go for access patent. And zoom it and choose the axis. remove the planes and now look look on the object we have completed